Some residents living in a community in Springs say the road that runs through their neighborhood is more like a freeway. Take a look at this crash that happened Saturday morning where a car loses control, smashing through an iron fence. Here it comes, then coming to a stop in a family's backyard. Matt Doherty is in the Benders Landing Estates community tonight with what neighbors are blaming on the crashes and the answers they're getting, Matt. The stretch of Rayford Road behind me is 35 miles per hour, but the neighbors we spoke with today say that just isn't enough. For almost three miles along the road that bisects Bender's Landing Estates, there isn't a single stop sign or stoplight. The HOA president says residents are split on their feelings about this. About half of them say things are just fine the way they are, but others say it's made their community dangerous. I saw a car rolling through the backyard and my seven year old, she started screaming. This surveillance video shows what happened outside of the Phillips family's house on Saturday morning. Here's the crash from a different perspective. She went through here, I guess popped up and then just started rolling. We had this fence welded piece by piece because of this road, thinking it would stop a car. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says the investigation into the crash is not yet complete. Is that a Lamborghini? Outside the Phillips family's home last year, another violent crash. This one happened at night. The Lamborghini was reportedly traveling at a high rate of speed when it wrecked, then burst into flames. The race from sometimes back there, most of the time it's like right here. Lacey Phillips says she knows how to fix this problem. We need stop signs at every intersection. It seems easy enough, but not when all the neighbors don't agree. Some say violent crashes like this would happen with or without stop signs. Montgomery County Precinct 3 Commissioner James Noack's office sent us this statement, which reads, the county is reviewing any additional safety modifications that may be implemented along this corridor. This stretch of roadway is well maintained and the vehicular posted speed limit is adequate. The commissioner's office says it's working with the sheriff's office and others to determine what can be done to make Rayford safer. It's gotten worse. Lacey Phillips says she's even considered moving because of what's happened. If things don't change, she's not sure her family will be safe. In Bender's Landing Estates, I'm Matt Doherty, KHOU 11 News.